Hey everyone, how you doing? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. We have left the city. Don't get me wrong, there's lots of stuff I like in Orlando, but there's lots in Florida. And every time I leave Orlando, I always just breathe this big sigh of relief, like, okay, we made it through another big city, you know? <laughs> and I took it easy this time, but now we're camping, we're changing gears. I had hinted at getting Jackson to see the vet. So that's why uh, we are here in Lakeland camping, keeping an eye out because this is breeding grounds for gator land here. We, we may see some gators later, but my campsite, I'm gonna turn us around here, camping underneath these beautiful Spanish moss trees. Yeah. Thanks for joining me guys and putting up with all my uh, Disney stuff there. I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link in the video description for unlimited mobile internet. And uh, yeah, it's really pretty. I may have camped here before. It looks familiar. Uh, the management um, is different here. I'm just letting you know. Sometimes you gotta put up with some crummy customer service to get, to get what you want. I, I pulled in here at 11.45 on a Saturday at a campground and I checked in with the office and I said, how are you doing? And his response was, I wish people would leave me the hell alone on the weekends. And then there was like an awkward pause between us. Like I'm waiting for him to laugh and smile. There was no laugh. Bro, if you're the campground host, check-in host at a campground, you don't get weekends off. Uh, he is a very, very grumpy old man in there. But anyway, I needed a place to park the RV because we got a little jacks up and tater tot tomorrow taking to this vet that Mickey told me uh, we should be able to go inside. And Jax doesn't, Jax is not gonna do well getting his shots and stuff without me in the room. So I'm hoping this goes well. Today is just kind of a, a relax day. So I say we hop in tater tot and it's a Saturday, go try to find a flea market. Yeah, let's go say hi to Jax though. You chilling over there? You wanna come say hi? Oh. You're gonna be so mad at me tomorrow. He's like, I love you right now, Dad, but I feel something's going on. You're being way too nice to me. You're giving me way too many treats. And, and I just, I, I, I know better, Dad, something's up. It's been like a whole year since I've seen the vet. I just don't, I just don't know, Dad, I just don't know. I know, I'm up to, I'm up to no good, huh? Yeah, I know. Get back a little bit and go see if I can find anything cool to flea market. Uh, before I left the RV, I actually went back through my videos because I did recognize this place. I had a similar experience, believe it or not, three years ago here at this same campground as far as customer service. However, it's, it's beautiful. This is the park area. So the day use area is absolutely free and lots of people utilize this area for, for fishing or just for a, a really nice, pretty spot. I'm gonna get a nice picture and put post this on Instagram with tater tot under the Spanish moss. But yeah, as far as the camping, I'm gonna give it a, a hard thumbs down just for the customer service. It's, it, it's unnecessary. 20 bucks a night for electric. I'd rather boondock at a Walmart and then just take tater tot to this place for free. But you know, I, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna be doing some boondocking in Florida and I found a flea market just three miles away, open till 4 p.m. So let's uh, get on the road. It appears to be a pretty popular flea market. There's indoor and outdoor. This is called Market World here in uh, Lakeland. And I brought a, brought a mask. It's most of it's outdoor, but I do have my mask in case you gotta go inside and it's required. It's pretty cool, guys. It's, it's like quartzite, kinda. Just a little bit of everything here. And we're under the tents. It's 72 degrees here in Florida. Not very sunshiny, but jewelry. Lots of clothes so far. Lots of Ryobi stuff here to add to my Ryobi collection. I even got some hot grub here. Yeah, while I'm waiting for my food. Got a, a grinder that takes the same batteries as my other Ryobi tools for 20 bucks. And I got an impact drill for 20 bucks. These are $100, $100. So for $40, I got two, two more and they let me put a battery in to test it. I already got three batteries, so I didn't need another battery. But I like this place. Can't beat that. Hot dog, French fries, and a drink for five bucks right here at the flea market. Checking out the uh, indoor section. Well, it's mostly indoor. It's an, it's an open indoor. I even got some uh, produce. So it's a real flea market, swap meet, everything. 
Everything in here. Oh, they even got some hens, some chickens in here. Hey guys. <laughs> okay, you never know. Oh, he's a pretty bird. He's a pretty bird. Baby bunnies. There's little baby bunnies in there. Did you guys know there's bunnies down there? There is, yeah, okay. Now I have more questions and answers. Free circus at one o'clock? I guess we missed it because it's 1.35, but it, there's normally a circus in here. Well, I, I didn't know how massive this place was actually. Okay, they have some arcade games and stuff for kids. Ooh, I want that Terminator 2 arcade game. You guys need to sell this to me, okay? I'll find a way to get it back to Illinois. <laughs> they got popcorn and bumper boats. Uh-huh. Circus looks aimed towards kids mostly. This place keeps getting cooler. They got motorcycle leather gear, car accessories. There's some there's some pretty decent DC horns there. Are those air horns? You know what? Those are air horns. Wow, interesting. Half off all the vinyl here. Hmm, we should look through some of these. I think I'm flea marketed out. I had a fun day. I'm gonna head back to the RV, test out the tools. <laughs> As always, projects, so that, that's easy. Go check in on Jax. Is that squirrel driving you crazy outside? That pesky little squirreler? Is he, is, he, is he taunting you from the tree? He is, I saw that. You wanna go get him? Do you wanna go get him? Do you wanna go outside? Let me see if I can find a thing here. Here, we, this thing, is that what we need? How do I do this? This is my first time. This is my first time ever. Okay, we've never done this before in our lives, have we? No, we never have. Let's see if we can figure this out. Where's that squirrel? Huh? Where's that squirrel, Jax? Is that where he's at? Get that squirrel, Jax. Get that squirrel. Is the squirrel up the tree? Are you gonna tell him who's cat boss? You gonna let him know? Oh, he gonna climb the table first? Okay, now what are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna try to stare him? You gonna stare at him and make him come down? I don't think that'll work. I think you have to do something more than just look at him. Making a lot of noise up there in the Spanish moss. Oh, now he's being quiet because he knows you're out. He's on to you, Jax. He knows you're out here looking for him. So, yeah, good luck. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna think about things? Oh, we haven't swapped out your new Mickey tag. I forgot to show you, I got you a new one of these. This is your Pirates one, but I got you a better one. I did. Where are you going? You can't roam free. Come here. Gave up on the squirrel, huh? All right, well, you tried. You sure stared at him really long, huh? You made him think twice about life and stuff, huh? Yeah. He's a good boy. You're gonna be mad at me tomorrow, though. In case you're wondering why I got pieces of my slides out, the front one, and we got part of the back one taken apart here. Well, well, my buddy Kevin from Kentucky, who helped me fix my generator issue over the phone. Uh, yeah, Kevin's here in Florida and he stopped by to look at my slides because he wanted to take some pictures and get an idea for the Happy Jack system and take it back and talk to a few of his buddies to kind of collaborate and see, is there a way to fix my slides uh, without removing them completely off the RV? So he's got a couple weeks to do some research and I'm interested to see what he says. He saw all all the problems and ideally we would like to be able to remove the motor and the, the gear system and the tracks without taking the slides off of the RV but um, he's gonna look into that for me we'll see I'm gonna spend the night here and then tomorrow Jax and I are gonna pack it up into tater tot and go make sure Jax is healthy for the next year yeah I do have one other thing to show you real quick though I did get one more thing on my way out of Disney. Well, two more things. The first thing is a Rise of the Resistance magnet. That's right, from Black Spire Outpost. This is one of the things I got at that outpost. I got another thing. <laughs> Something Star Wars related that I have wanted for a very long time, but the lines have been even longer for this than they ever were at the Droid Depot. I suppose some of you Star Wars fans may recognize this case here. That's right, I picked out my very own lightsaber. Uh, but do you know which one I got? Everybody likes the Luke Skywalker one. Everybody gets the Luke Skywalker one. I got a different one, if I can get it out. All right, you hold that, Jax. All right, so I actually got the Obi-Wan Kenobi version here. Crank her on right here, have a little listen. Oh, 
don't think Jax is very amused. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I'll put the lightsaber away underneath the bed, which I have already brought out Jax's little buggy for tomorrow. And uh, we'll get some sleep and we'll chat with you in the morning. Morning, everyone. Sunshine. We saw the stars last night. Much different day today. Makes me smile. Florida looks a lot prettier when it's bright sunshine and blue skies and water and all that juicy goodness. I'll also, before we go to the vet, I, <laughs> I was editing the video last night of what I shot yesterday and I decided to pull and cut about four or five minutes of video. Basically, people would say I was complaining for four or five minutes, but you know, as I'm looking at it, it's like, no, I'm being pretty honest. Well, guess what? There's a different way I could be honest and that is by just saying I strongly recommend you stay away from this campground which I kind of said anyway right so Saddle Creek campground in Lakeland absolutely do not do it it's a it's a scary disgusting place and every rule is broken here every RV is is just trashed I've got people plugging in their own cords for their boats at, in, into my box and, and turning off my breakers in the middle of the night cops came out last night Three cops were all right here because these two couples were having a screaming match of sorts. That was lovely at 2.30. <laughs> oh, I could go on and on, but basically just don't, just don't stay here. And I left a very honest review update on uh, freecampsites.net with the real truth of everything that happened in just 24 hours here, but you get the gist of it. Stay away. <laughs> I'm gonna load jacks up. We're gonna go to the bed. You ready for this? You're not ready for this? I had a feeling you might cry. Like, you never cry. Well, I mean, you never cry in a bad way. You, you cry for food and stuff, but... You ready, Jax? Well, you're, you're in your buggy. You know what that means, right? Probably. It means, uh, we can go in here to Companion Animal Hospital and get you all checked out for the year, okay? Oh, I know. I oh, know. It's crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> Alright, buddy. We're gonna get you weighed over here on this machine, okay? Here we go. Oh. No. You getting grumpy already on me? No, it's okay. Hey, Jax. 18.6. Oh my gosh, he's under 20. Look what a that. good boy. <laughs> from from 26.6 to 18. Point what? 18.6. 18.6. Good boy. Good work. Proud of you, buddy. You did so good there, Jax, except for growling at the nice girl. Why'd you growl? You lose so much weight. We're so proud of you, Jax. That's eight pounds in two years. You've lost eight pounds. 18.6. I'll take it, man. Holy cow. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little emotional, guys, like here live. Like my heart's beating a million miles an hour. Because it's been a struggle with Jax. I don't know. That's, that's really good. That's really good news, man. Good. Let's keep working on it, though, Jax. We'll keep doing all the exercises and the fun playtimes with the mousy mousies and keep your food under control and get lots of walking stretchies. Yeah? Okay. They're going to come in and go boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. A couple boops, okay? Okay. And lastly, cat vaccines, rabies, all that stuff, whether you like them or not, that's not what this is about. Uh, Jax and I need to have that paperwork documented so that we can travel state to state, get into all the different campgrounds and places that we like to go. So this is not up for debate. I'm not going to break the rules. Um, yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Why are you down there now? <laughs> we had to deal with, they had two emergencies here that kind of bumped us past their even open time here. But we're going to get her done. Jax is getting a three years rabies, which he always gets, his three year rabies, and his regular feline leukemia one there. Are you excited about those? Does that really excite you? Oh, it does it? It looks painless. Well, there's more on that later. Not gonna film the uh, shots procedure, but uh, I'll let you know how it goes at the end because I wanna be right there with him with his treats and make sure I'm a part of the whole procedure. It's the only way we get through this without scars. <laughs> well, he mostly, he mostly did good. It would have been much worse if I wasn't in here uh, with him. 
Now we we got some new news on Jax's health, and so um, we're gonna get some paperwork and some information here, and I'm gonna do a little bit of research, and then uh, I'll let you know when we get back to the RV what's going on with Jax, man. He's okay though. You did really good today. I I am really proud of you, Jax. You did really really good. Okay. However, uh, the vet today before we started got the stethoscope scope out to hear Jax's heart, and she asked me if Jax had had a heart murmur for very long. And of course I said, no, <laughs> uh, in all his checkups every year for 10 years, he has never been known to have a heart murmur. So he said, well, let me, let me check this again. She took a little more time this time listening and came back and said, yeah, he does have a little bit of an irregular heartbeat going on. They call that, um, a heart murmur in, in, in a cat. And, uh, I said, I, what, what does that mean? And so there's things like there's symptoms like a, a cat being very lith lethargic, a uh, cat having no interest in food, playtime, uh, excessive vomiting, and like she's listing all these symptoms. I'm like, no, no, he's he's never shown anything like that, ever. He, there's been no change in his diet or anything. The only thing is, you know, obviously he's lost eight eight pounds in two years. So um, we're gonna continue to monitor this. It's not gonna be a physiological murmur because that means it has no effect on his health this wasn't here in the first 10 years of his life he'll be 11 in april and this is the first time that he's that they've heard a heart murmur in jack's little heart there so just going to pay attention to it for now on make sure he doesn't lose interest make sure none of those symptoms occur otherwise uh, he could be fully healthy and just having a regular heart beating all, all of a sudden i guess but uh, at least it's going into his medical file so we know for the future. Making a couple changes to continue this weight loss. Um, I, the doctor said that ideally right now, if Jax could lose a half a pound between now and next year. A half a pound. I'm pretty sure we can do that. So we're making a couple changes now. Uh, the little We're still doing a quarter cup of the dry core grain-free food. A quarter cup three times a day. So he's getting three quarter of a cup of dry food. But instead of half of a can of the 2.5 ounce Fancy Feast, we're going to do one third of that each day. Just one third of that can. And we may even switch to the core brand because the Fancy Feast is not really a very healthy one. So we're just going to reduce it a little bit more for a year and see what happens in 2022. But I'm proud of my boy. He did really, really good. He's never had any funky reactions to the vaccines or rabies or anything like that. We got all this certificate, cert certification and everything, so we're good. We're, we're legit to travel and hang out together. I'm glad we got through that. And a big shout out and thanks to Companion Animal Hospital here in Lakeland for allowing me to be with my kitty cat when pretty much the rest of the state and almost every other state makes you drop off your pet in the parking lot. And believe me, I have friends and family who have been dealing with that since this all began, and I feel sorry for you. I, I, that's why... Really glad that worked out. So keep an eye on my kitty cat. Give them extra treats today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in a couple days. Bye bye.